have 90 days of momentum and I've been at the cafe a very long time today editing this video for Black and Sexy TV. Hopefully that gets done today so that when I get home I can focus on making jewelry um, and planning stuff with Nicholas. Um, I also had a call with a couple of my teammates today and we are planning a fundraiser to help us reach our fundraising goals. Um, for instance, don't forget, I am still trying to raise the $3,000 for the kids. Um, and so far, I haven't been able to raise the full amount that I want. So it's time to come together collectively. A group of us will be raising money for our various causes. If you are interested in attending, please leave a comment below with your contact information so that you can be sure to be put on the invitation list. Um, as well as a link that I'm going to start for some online um, support if you're willing to donate just to support the cause. Um, so all in all, it's been a really good day. I hope you guys had a leverage day that you did some amazingly productive stuff. Um, live rich and happy dream chasing. So I have a treat for you guys. Another TMI segment. Yay! Aren't you guys excited? Today you guys are going to be meeting Karen, who you also briefly met on day 73 um, because we went to church together. You've also seen her in other videos. But today you will get an in-depth insight into who she is and all of her fabulosity. So stay tuned because you're about to meet Karen Francis. So, Touch Movement Inspire, right now you're about to meet Karen, who you've seen in some other videos, but now you're about to meet her one on one. Really excited. Introducing the beautiful, the gorgeous, the talented, and intelligent Karen Francis. Hello. Hey, Karen. How are you? I'm good, thank you. The light's a little bright. I know. <laughs> well, you need to get your glow on because otherwise it'd be too dark. That's true. Yas, yas. So, Karen. Well, how have you been impacted by your momentum journey thus far? To reconnect and then making the choice to go for what I declared would happen and seeing it happen and then also seeing other things I didn't need to declare happen uh, has been amazing. It, it makes me wonder why I wasn't living this way sooner. Mm. Um, and it makes me feel like when people say anything is possible, it's really true. So I'm very excited about the next three week leading up to residential. I feel like anything could happen. I feel like whatever hasn't happened yet is going to. And I'm excited about being able to be on the show again and, and say, you know, that some of the stuff that didn't happen, you know, as of now has happened. So it's exciting. Yes! Awesome! And how do you touch, move, and inspire? I think by being um, someone who is willing to be open, vulnerable, um, things that don't always occur to me naturally, uh, willing to be the loving person in a situation that someone else is maybe too afraid to be. Those are ways that I've noticed movement and change. And it's very subtle. It's just being this person, whatever you choose to be, um, consistently, and even if you're not getting it back, just setting that example and having that intention of entering a room in a certain way and having a certain effect. And then the comments that you get back, you know, whether I'm volunteering or whether I'm at work, the comments that I've gotten back have almost exactly mirrored whatever intention I've set before I enter this room. And that has been a powerful example of how you can touch move and inspire by just thinking about what you want to be and being that and seeing what happens. Mm, that's awesome. What is one outrageous result that you are creating within the next couple of weeks or that you've created already? I interviewed my favorite MC, one of, one of my favorite MCs of all time. Um, that will be revealed, the identity of the person will be revealed <laughs> when I post the article. But like, had the most amazing conversation with this person and have loved and appreciated and admired his gift and his skills and his talent for so long. And for that to happen, huge. Where um, are, where is this article going to be posted? 
the Let the peeps Toast. know. The Huffington Post. I am a I'm an attorney, an entertainment attorney, and I'm also a writer. Um, love the creative arts. Love Erica. She's amazing. She's an awesome hostess. She's got a powerful presence. And you guys should really subscribe if you haven't yet. Oh, thank Just you, stand. Karen. Do it. Nick and I are going to be working on vision boards together. Um, it's the start of a new year, and I feel like since we're getting married and everything, um, we should crystallize our vision together. I'm going to Harlem to go to church, and um, where am I going? I'm going to church. <laughs> so I invited her, and we're going to church together. Maintenant, nous, um, uh, vous allez à, à la church. Yes. Oui. 